Kong Skull Island is packed with eye candy and giant monster fights, but director Jordan Vote Roberts also stuffed a movie full of pop culture Easter eggs, referencing everything from anime to Jurassic Park. Hold on to your butts. Oh, hold on to your butts. And Kong is especially full of video game Easter eggs. Here are all the ones you missed in Kong Skull Island. Metal Gear Solid Jordan Vogt Roberts is a massive Metal Gear Solid fan. He told Den of Geek, That's one of the most important franchises to me on the planet, not even just as a video game, but as a piece of media. So it's no surprise that the director couldn't help but put a little bit of Metal Gear into Skull Island. Remember the name of the ramshackle boat that John C. Riley's character builds? It's called the Grey Fox. If that sounds familiar to you, you've probably played a lot of video games. Grey Fox is a recurring character in the Metal Gear franchise, and according to Vote Roberts, Grey Fox was only supposed to be the tip of the iceberg when it came to Skull Island's Metal Gear Solid references. Screenwriter Dan Gilroy wrote a sequence in which Tom Hiddleston's character breaks into a military base, and Vote Roberts claims he was going to get very Metal Gear with it before the scene was cut. The Legend of Zelda Samuel L. Jackson's group of pilots, the Sky Devils, get a lot of screen time throughout Kong. That gives viewers plenty of time to study their uniforms, and Zelda fans may have noticed that the Sky Devils' insignia looks a lot like the Hyrule Wing Crest which made its first appearance in The Legend of Zelda The Ocarina of Time. My favorite game of all time, FYI. The resemblance isn't exact, but according to Vote Roberts, the similarity is 100% intentional. Pokemon Skull Island's scariest creatures aren't giant apes or bamboo spiders, they're those freaky two-legged reptiles. The Iwis won't speak their name, but I call them skull crawlers. Why? Because it sounds neat. But despite their ferociousness, the skull crawlers have a fairly cuddly origin. According to a behind-the-scenes feature at Wired, Vote Roberts gave the special effects team a single reference to get them started. Cubone, one of the very first Pokemon. It's the kind of thing that's impossible to unsee. Both creatures have long heads that look like skulls and lizard-like bodies. Of course, there's one big difference between the two. The skull crawlers just look like they're wearing another creature's skull. Cubone actually is. The skull belongs to his mother, which is much more terrifying. Mega Man and Metroid The Legend of Zelda isn't the only big video game franchise that snuck into the costumes of Kong Skull Island. Some of the helmets donned by the pilots in the movie resemble those worn by the heroes in Mega Man, Metroid, and the classic Gundam franchise. Of course, Samus and Mega Man sport helmets with blocky extra parts. The flight helmets in Skull Island are a lot more realistic, and you have to study the designs closely to see the similarities. 3D extrusions like the caps around Mega Man's ears have been reduced to 2D paint jobs, and the color schemes are totally different. Still, if you look hard enough, you you'll notice that many of Mega Man and Samus's iconic silhouettes reappear on the helmets. That's enough for us to count it, even if the geeks in us wish that the similarities were just a little more pronounced. Resident Evil Kong Skull Island introduced King Kong with a stunning 360-degree shot that zooms through several helicopter cockpits while circling the giant ape. It's an exciting way to highlight Skull Island's biggest star, and in the context of the movie, it goes a long way towards showing just how big Kong really is. Well, guess what? Vote Roberts totally stole the shot from a video game. He's not shy about it either. He said, That's a very video game shot to me. That shot was actually inspired by a cinematic in a Resident Evil game. Vote Roberts doesn't identify which Resident Evil he's ripping off, there are a lot of games out there, and almost as many helicopter crashes in them, but fans think he's probably talking about Operation Raccoon City, a non-canon third-person shooter. Shadow of the Colossus If you're making a movie about giant monsters, it makes sense that you look to the most famous video game about giant monsters for inspiration. That's exactly what Vote Roberts did. He told Den of Geek, Shadow of the Colossus was a huge influence on me on this movie. The colossi in those games have such a slow, melancholy, morose quality to them, and a sense of scale. I think and I hope that Kong has a similar vibe in the film. In other words, if you go into Kong Skull Island looking for visuals borrowed from Shadow of the Colossus, you won't find them. If you think of Kong as a spiritual descendant of the titular Colossi, however, you'll spot Shadow of the Colossus' influence throughout the film. Like Shadow's Colossi, Kong is a majestic and tragic figure. It's no surprise that they go hand in hand. Journey in Journey, your player has to cross a vast desert, trying to reach a glowing mountain in the distance. You can connect with other players, but you can only communicate with actions or musical notes. It's a strange ethereal game that's been called a kind of non-denominational religious experience for players. Kong director Jordan Vote Roberts' review isn't quite so wordy, but gives the game just as much praise. Journey is one of my favorite things ever. As such, Vote Roberts snuck Journey's illuminated mountain into Skull Island's landscape. The peaks are a little more jagged in Kong, but the silhouette is unmistakable.
Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.